I mean, we input into the processor, and then from there it just makes up to the things, which is and, and really like the, convenient. Yeah. The us. audio consultant did all the tuning for all the speakers through the DSP, so that's all locked into the processor, so that can't, nobody can mess it up, that's all locked in. So basically all of our, the speakers were kind of set to have a, basically a flat response. So we ran the pink noise through there, and all of our speakers have a flat response, and then tuned it individual for like the pastor's voice mm -hmm. and stuff. And that, those are the choir, or the um, organ, amps. organ amps that we just integrated. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. And those turn on automatically with the organ. Yeah. Okay. Um, just grab this out. So I've been trying to keep, like, this is more for work. I mean, trying to keep the monitor speakers, which I'm wondering if we should get one more of those. I'm thinking maybe Probably. in the end we should get one more wedge. Yeah. Uh, just from what I saw in the band the other day. Uh, it would probably be nice for Dave to have a wedge. Right. So if we had two wedges. I mean, I could use those again, but then we're talking about hooking up an amp. It's nice if it's self-powered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I may wait for Pastor to come down and wait. Okay. You guys want to take a look at the snake down here? So we'll set this up. There's only 